Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, October 30th to the 31st Intuitive Love Tarot Read. I hope my Virgos are doing well today. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't before you leave. And for those who are returning, welcome back. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Okay, Virgos, let's see what's going on for you for the next day. What's going on for my Virgos for the next day? Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. You're not sure, Virgo, if... You're thinking about in an existing relationship, this is for Virgos who are in a relationship, if there is even reciprocity going on, because you don't like the cycle that you've been in with this person. Something's off. You're feeling something's off and you're feeling it has to do with this give and take. You feel like you're giving more than you're receiving and you want to try your luck somewhere else with the Wheel of Fortune here. Jupiter ruled energy. Tens are about endings and beginnings. So you're going back and forth as to whether or not, yeah, what's coming towards you is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, in the relationship that you're in right now, Virgo, you're being very defensive because of this. I don't think the other person is aware of what you're feeling, so it's coming out in this defensive. Um, you're just coming out, and all of a the sudden, they're saying, you know, setting boundaries, which is fine. But, like, this person is like, where is this coming from? I feel like you've been with this person for a little bit. It has been a long-term relationship. Who's coming towards my Virgos that are single? Let's see. Spirit is saying make a decision and also communicate with the person. This is for the coupled Virgos again. With the person that you're with, communicate this to them. Give them a chance to... Um, to work on the relationship. We have the Strength card here, and we have the Knight of Swords. Hmm. Oh, sorry, the King of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming towards you. They just said something strange. They just said, because I'm at the strength card here, they said strength in numbers. I feel this king will only approach you with a group of people around. It's like that's where they're getting their, that's where their courage comes from. They only feel safe when they're in a group, group a group of friends maybe. How will Virgo meet this individual? Well, obviously in a group. If they're going to approach you, I'm feeling it is a group. Hmm. The hangman. This is a waiting period. This is uh, being in limbo. It's at a like a, a, a venue of some sort. There is drinking at this venue. But you're there for a while before this king approaches you. Because they're hanging back and they're not, you know, they're trying to, to get the courage to do this. And they won't go approach you without their posse behind them. So they hang out, they wait, they observe. But they do approach you. And I feel it's at the end of this evening, whatever event it's going on. You don't know this person. So 
I'm not sure what kind of event it is. I can see the event. It's like at a, um, you know, like a place that you would rent out, not a restaurant, like a, a hall type atmosphere with a bar. How do you respond? Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. You do respond in kind. I feel you are interested in this person. Huh. Yes, you are. We have the, well, this is called the shadow side in this deck, but this is the devil card. And this is temptation. This is sexual attraction, I'm feeling. Paired with the Ace of Wands, definitely sexual attraction. You may sleep with this individual uh, this night, but there is still a potential for a relationship, believe it or not. So it's not necessarily going to be a one-night stand. A one-night stand plus Ten of Wands. And you'll be worried about that. For those of you who sleep with this individual, that night... You'll leave worrying if they will call you. And they will. Or text you. They will. That's the Ten of Wands energy. How does this change your energy? Let's see. Yeah, see? Nine of Swords. This is the worry and the anxiety and the fear. And the fear of the lack. Five of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. You're, you're like, should I should I text them and apologize for this, for that? Now you're overthinking it. Now you're really overthinking it. Because now you think that you did something wrong. You made a misstep during that night. You just met the dude or dudette. Give yourself a break. Chill, axe, because this dude or dudette will call you. They are as interested in you as you are in them. Okay, what does the future hold? This one? These two. Mm, tower energy and seven of cups. Well, you will have a relationship with this individual, but there will be surprises along the way. I'm not feeling this tower moment being surprises that will interfere necessarily in like this doesn't cause a breakup in the relationship. It's just something that 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 happens within one of you, one of you has something sort of catastrophic that happens to to you or them. So it inadvertently affects you because you're with them. I do feel you will be boyfriend, girlfriend, or same sex, whatever doesn't matter the gender the two of pentacles is trying to maintain 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 your balance amongst this chaos and confusion seven of cups is confusion what does this tower have to do with oh, six of cups this is, I just got with this card that's sad. This is somebody from their childhood. I feel a death in this. Wow. I've never felt a death in the Six of Cups, but I'm just feeling very, it's like somebody that they knew from childhood. Oh. I do feel it's the other person that you meet. Oh, wow. Okay. Go a little bit further into the future beyond this, please. Four of Cups energy. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy again. They may be, when this happens, I was trying to get beyond this energy, but when this happens to them, I'm oh, feeling such sadness. They are not ignoring you. Don't think it's you. They are just um, feeling just in, the, in a daze. 
in in the days like seven of cups sometimes can be daydreaming right or confusion and in this case i'm just it's like you know when you're just in it you're numb you're in a haze people could be calling your name and you're not even hearing them because it's like is this happening to me is this really happening to me Ooh, okay get beyond this a little please what's ahead them in the future eight of cups they will walk away from these feelings of sadness of just grief grief i'm feeling a lot of grief it may take them a little bit though be patient spirit is saying be patient they don't want to leave this energy Ooh. Okay, after they're done grieving, is there anything beyond this? Be patient and gentle with them. That's what they're saying. Yeah, T temperance, patience. I don't think they're going to go beyond this. I think they just want, they really want to stress you having patience with this individual. This is the card of Sagittarius. This is also an angel there, so call on an angel because this person that you will be meeting will be extremely sad they this is a person they were very close with in their childhood since like for a long time extremely close so be patient with their healing don't take anything personally oh. okay Virgo well, I hope you resonated with that. Please be patient. Don't forget, call on Archangel Michael. Or, I just said Raphael. Raphael is healing. Call on Archangel Raphael and that happens. Please, and be patient. You have a great rest of your day. Please like, share, and subscribe right below if you already haven't. And comment. Tell me if this is your story. I want to hear from you guys. You have yourself a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow.